guys, it is Hannah here with you today from Lyrics from the Throne Room of Heaven. I hope that you guys are doing well. I hope that you are having a wonderful day in the joy of the Lord. And guys, you guessed it, I've got some fresh lyrics for you today from none other than the purest Holy Spirit of the Living God. And this one is called Open Your Eyes. And if you happen to be watching this and you are not yet a believer and follower of the Lord Jesus Christ, I encourage you to pause this video, stop it, turn it off, whatever you need to do, and invite the Lord into your heart. Make Him Lord of your life. Pick up your cross, pursuing Him even as He pursues you. Tell Him yes. Tell Him God, you have my heart. Make him the ruler of your life. Come into his will and his best plans for you. And while things won't be easy and rosy all the time, you have an eternal security in the Lord Jesus Christ. You have his grace. You have a friend to the end that is so faithful and desires the utmost best for you. And furthermore, you have eternal life in and with him and through him you have eternal life with the father and you have his holy spirit within you the moment you say yes to the lord jesus christ and so you definitely you're not missing you're not missing out on anything when you choose to not when you choose to not entertain satan any longer and you give your heart to Jesus. When you're not in and with Jesus, it's then you're missing out on everything. But when you walk away from Satan, you're not missing out on anything. And so give your heart to Jesus and find eternal life, eternal hope, and all the grace that is in Jesus Christ. So guys, we are in a time where... We need to open our eyes, and I'm not meaning these, not in, not entirely our physical eyes, to a degree in some situations we need to ask the Holy Spirit to help us open our physical eyes to see a bit deeper. But foremost, this depth that I'm talking about is spiritual sight and asking the Lord to sharpen our spiritual eyes is so needed, especially in our world today, where there is so much going on. Some people may present one way and you end up discovering they're an entirely different person. And um, it reminds me of that biblical account. I cannot recall exactly the book of the Bible it's in, but it's it's about um a young prophet who was sincerely walking with god and god gave him commands to do and what to do and he told him you know as god often does for us as his children he guided him and so he met another prophet that was a false prophet and on his way home he was told what to do by God and then to return home. And he met this false prophet and the false prophet was like, oh, well, yeah, I'm this and I'm that. And he essentially allowed the false prophet to change his mind and to swerve and not obey what God had told him to do. And as a result, he ended up being killed. And so for me, I've reflected upon that biblical account on a um, true story of the Bible a few times, but each time I get something new from it with the help and through the help of the Holy Spirit. But it just goes to show us like we, the only one primary authority we should be focusing on and listening to is the Lord God. Yes, we're to listen to other people, but all of that should be filtered through what the Holy Spirit is leading and guiding and telling us to do. And so in that regard and in all other ways, discernment, um, observations, insight, all those things, we're needing to have sharp spiritual eyes in order to see what the Lord God himself would like us to see. 
So guys, my hope is that it blesses you and points you towards the Lord Jesus Christ. Okay, guys. Sing in the natural. Almost unconfused. Lord Jesus, we need you to remove the scales for us so that I, so we can begin to see. Open your eyes and see that you are blessed beyond measure. Open them, open them. Who better to show us? Yes, Lord Jesus, show us what we really need to see. Looking beyond the natural through lens of love. Oh, it's then, only then, we'll begin to see. Yeah. Open your eyes and see that you are blessed beyond measure. Open them, open them, open them, open them, open your eyes, open your eyes and see, open them, open them, open them, open them, open your eyes and see. And you are blessed beyond measure. Open them, open them, open them, open them, and see what it is the Lord is showing you. And see everything you need to know. And see what the Holy Spirit desires to reveal. Open your eyes and see. Open your eyes and see that you are blessed beyond measure. Guys, we are truly blessed. And I've discovered in my walk with the Lord, I gave my life to the Lord at the age of 13. And truthfully, I didn't really begin to commit to the Lord until I was like in my mid-20s. And I believe for me... The bless shifting started right after I got baptized. And I believe I was about like maybe 20, maybe 24, I believe. And I recall just being awakened and having like increased discernment and having inclination through the help of the Holy Spirit more than I had. And and seeing things beyond what, what I could physically see and sensing things and realizing that, oh, like how damaging it can be when we're seeing things through carnal eyes mostly and how the Lord desires us to see beyond that and to, to come up higher, so to speak, come up higher in our in uh, explorations of his goodness and all that he desires for us to partake of and to see through his lens of love. So my hope is that wherever you are at today as a child of God, that you too desire to see all that it is that the Lord God 
loans for you to see. Be blessed, guys. Take care and have a great rest of your day.